So when it comes to software engineering, one of the most valuable tasks we end up doing is something called code reviews, where we will go through the pull requests of other developers, read through the code, make sure we understand it, make sure we have a grasp on the high level changes, and then we'll give feedback for them to kind of address. Luckily in this day and age of AI, there is tooling we can use to supplement code reviews from AI agents. Now there's a lot of tools out there that can kind of do AI based code reviews, but if you're using Claude code, which I'll probably be using a lot in this channel, there is one called install GitHub app, which will set up two workflows that you can use to automatically have all your code reviewed when you make a pull request. Now I won't necessarily show you how to run through the steps to install it. It's pretty easy. You just have to like connect your GitHub account to Claude and then also set up an API key for Claude. But if you are looking for a more thorough walkthrough of how I set this up, I do have a course coming out called Agentic Jumpstart, which will help teach you all the tooling around Claude Code and Cursor and the things that I use in my day-to-day -day workflow to make me productive. So agenticjumpstart.com, go ahead and join their waitlist. And when this course is ready, I will send you all an email. So like I mentioned, that command will create two YAML files. One's called Claude Code Review, and one is called Claude. The Claude code review is going to go through your code base every time you make a pull request and just review all the changes. And it'll leave like a giant comment explaining security issues, performance issues, bad code practices. And this other workflow allows you to tag Claude on your GitHub issues and your pull request. And Claude will actually grab your code and start changing it and fixing it and make a pull request. So to walk you through this process, I do have a branch called conversions. I'm going to make a pull request real quick. And we'll show you how cool this Claude code reviewer is. So I'll just go ahead and create the pull request. And I've already gone through the motion of setting up Claude's uh, GitHub actions. So you'll see in a second, this is going to kick off a Claude code review agent. So if you click on this, and so if you kind of watch through the logs here, what it's doing is it's cloning your repo, and then it's using Claude in headless mode to basically inspect all the changes that you made in your PR. Okay, so now it looks like this task is done. And if so now if you go back to the pull request, you'll see a giant comment from Claude Code, and it basically reviews all your code and tells you what you did well, has a nice strengths, well-structured schema, privacy-focused analytics, email preference, GDPR compliance. So, it's, so it kind of tells you like what you did well in the PR, but then the area you should kind of look for is down here. We have areas for improvement, and it has some security concern analysis. So analytics privacy, it looks like on this page, we are printing out the tracking codes, so that's probably an issue. We should delete those logs. So that was an awesome catch. Over here, email content injection. So we have raw HTML injection without sanitization. The risk is an XSS if malicious content is entered. So I guess I'm not too concerned if I'm injecting cross-site scripting stuff into my, my emails that I'm sending out to users. But at the very least, I could still bring in a sanitization library and try to fix this. Okay, number three, IP hashing. So it's saying I'm doing a good job using the IP hash, but it considers using a hashing algorithm. So here in the analytics page, we are doing a five second interval to basically refresh the, the UI. It's saying we should probably be using WebSockets or some type of longer interval. Again, I'm the only one who can view this page. So I think five seconds is fine. It won't put too much load on my database. Missing pagination. Again, this is only for admins. So I'm the only one who can actually like view the analytics. Okay, we got some code issues that we're using in any somewhere. We have some error handling issues. All right, now for some critical issues. Missing migration strategy, no rollback strategy for the eight new migrations. We don't need that rollback, so we can just make new migration scripts to fix prod if we want to. Email rate limiting, batch size of five, hard-coded rate limit may exceed SES sandbox. This is fine. I think my rate limit's like 14 a second anyway, so this is pretty low. We got missing test coverage for these things, performance recommendations, blah, blah, blah. A bunch of other stuff. But what I would like to show you is I'm going to try to address two of these. I'm going to go ahead and just address this one for removing this console log and then also the email content injection. The funny thing is I also have cursor bug bot running and this is the only thing it kind of told me that I have a comment mismatch. So if you want to have some type of AI review, uh, definitely cloud code seems like it's doing a much better job than cursor. Uh, maybe you need to up your game up. But the thing I want to demo over here is I'm going to say at Claude. And I'm going to say, please fix the following issues you've identified. I'm going to paste in the analytics privacy concerns and also the email content injection. I'll say fix this by bringing in, I think I might guide it here. I'm going to say sanitize HTML. So we can go over here and I'm going to say fix this by using, and then we're going to paste that URL in. Now the cool thing is I can click comment and Claude is going to pick up that comment and start kicking off that other workflow that I talked about. And it's going to go through all of the suggestions that it made. 
and it's just going to fix the two that I asked it to. The other stuff, I don't think it really needs to be fixed. Okay, and now it's kicking off another worker to kind of fix those issues. And then eventually it'll modify those two things I asked for, and we will see another commit pop up from Claude Code. Now, very similar to the Claude Code CLI tool where it has like a to-do list, it actually updates this to-do list live, and you can sit here and watch it go through as it's fixing these issues, and then eventually it's going to make a commit with the changes that you asked to be fixed. Now, like I mentioned, if you guys like getting an overview of how Claude Code kind of works, I do have a whole section right here in my course for GitHub Actions. This is kind of a freebie I'm throwing to my YouTube channel for fun, but there's a bunch of other content that I have that talks about how agentic coding kind of works, the limitations, how LLM works, the secrets to prompting. I walk you through all the features of Cursor, all the features of Claude Code, and then I'm gonna have a module we're gonna build out a full stack application just by using agentic coding. So definitely go check out agenticjumpstart.com and join the waitlist so that you guys can get a notification when this course is ready. All right, and so it looks like it's done doing all its stuff and it made a commit. So let's just click on this commit over here and we can look at the diff of what changes it made. All right, so it removed the console log, it adds sanitized HTML, it configured comprehensive allow list for the safe HTML rendering of admin emails, prevents XSS attacks through malicious email injection. And you can scroll through here and see that I basically start sanitizing that HTML that we're sending to the emails, which is nice. Um, and then it removed the comment. So literally, like, we don't even have to code anymore. We can actually do full-time coding inside of GitHub, which is pretty crazy. But I just wanted to demo that feature with you all because I think every team should start using some type of AI review system. Because let's be honest, these reviews are often much better than any human review I've seen. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you all today. Have a good day and happy coding.